Welcome to my craft artist, long time no video. You're probably wondering where have I been at all this time, so let's get to this video. Why I was kicked off of YouTube. First things first, before I tell you why I was kicked off of YouTube, and suspended for seven months, my name is I am Dee Dee's Crafts, my life's a craft artist and fashion guru. <laughs> Hopefully you guys like this video, this is very important to me to do this video because I wasn't going to do any more videos at all until I did this video, so let's get started here thing. Seven months ago, I was kicked off YouTube because because, I'll say allegedly, allegedly, is that the word I'm going to say? Allegedly, that because they said I put third party things in my videos and I don't know if I did or not. If I did do that, I'm very, very sorry for that. I did not realize I was doing that at all. So if, if I did that, I deserve to be kicked off. I deserve to be punished in all ways. I probably should be kicked off anyway because I was doing a lot of things I probably should have been doing on other things in my life. But yeah, I'm glad that I got kicked off seven months ago in the way. I was mad at first. I cried. I'm not going to lie. I did cry. I was very upset. I was like, what in the what? <laughs> I have only have 75 subscribers at the time I had 75 subscribers and I was like why am I getting kicked off no one even looks at my videos but I don't know it's just like really shocked so I'm trying to get better at YouTube so my advice to you is be careful what you do on YouTube no music in the background no background music no televisions no um don't do anything bad no vulgar language no no cuss words no perverted things don't do any of that no racial things just behave yourself please you guys i'm begging you guys you don't want to be kicked off youtube for good and or suspended like i did for seven months and i, I still think i probably deserve it because i don't know what i really did i still don't know i i'll, I'll take blame for whatever i I guess I'll take blame for it because I don't know what I did. I guess they know what they were doing. So, <laughs> but anyways, but um, if I was you, if you're a new YouTuber, I would read the rules. There are rules on YouTube that a lot of people don't read. I didn't read any of the rules, but I didn't, I didn't think I was breaking any rules either. So just read all the rules. Be careful what you say and what you do and what. What, what content you put on your videos, what background noise, you don't want no one in the back cussing and swearing and saying all kinds of stuff they shouldn't be saying. You want a really clean background with videos. And if you do use music in your videos, try to get music that is not copyrighted because you'll get in trouble. You only can have maybe less than 30 seconds if I'm right. So hopefully you guys enjoy this video. I'm really excited because I'm back on YouTube and I am trying to get better at YouTube and make my contact way better than I took me seven months to figure out. Okay, why come, how come no one's liking my videos? What, what kind of contact I'm doing these videos and why no one's coming to my youtube channel because obviously i suck <laughs> i really do suck at youtube i suck so bad it's not even funny so i'm trying to get better at that i'm trying to get a better camera i do all my filming on my phone which is wrong because if you're really serious about youtube you would never do that until you get a good camera so i was really shocked and horrified by getting kicked off i did cry i was upset i was like what is going on i wrote a letter to them and everything and they wrote me a letter back stating that i can get reinstated if i go through the appeals process and i, I wrote them a letter from might be three or four letters, I can't remember. And I was like, oh man, I gotta get back on YouTube. I deserve to be back on here. Well, I think I deserve to be back on here. But once I got over the shock and anger and upset, I wanted to tell people on YouTube, just be careful what you say, what you co what contact you put in your video, or whatever. It doesn't matter um, it's just, if it's just YouTube or any social media, just be careful. You don't know who's listening to you, whatever. I said some horrible things. You know, not on YouTube, but in the past I did that on some other social media, <laughs> you'll say. And I don't want to do that anymore. I want to be a nice, kind, loving person. People who really know me know I'm nice and kind and very, very spiritual. I don't want to be like this. I'm going to be a very pers person that's very good on YouTube. So hopefully you guys like this video. Please give me a subscribe, like. I do have an Instagram. I do have a Facebook. I also have a Twitter. And I also have a Tumblr. So go all over to those media places, social media <laughs> places, and go over there and look at that stuff. And I'd be appreciated very much. And I hope you guys having a great day. And... Like I say, all my videos since I've been on YouTube, keep crafting no matter what. No matter what. I'm back. I'm back. <laughs> Talk to you later. Talk to you. Talk to you later, you guys. Thank you so much for listening.